842 watching breakfast television on City TV talking video games right now. The biggest entertainment industry in the world. Right. Confirmed by data that we talked about last week. Uh, we have a Mario game to talk about. Which we had to put the controllers down. We do, because we have work to do. Uh, <laughs> but there's two other ones you wanted to highlight this morning. Yeah, okay. The first one, and this is the first must-play okay. game of the year. Mike's must-play. This is Resident Evil 2, but the original Resident Evil 2 came out 20 years ago. Wow. This is a remake of that game. It's uh, you're a police officer, you're called to work in Raccoon City, but just days before you start your job, you're called and told not to come. So you show <laughs> okay. up only to find out that the city is practically deserted and you start exploring to figure out what is happening. Well, it doesn't oh take gosh. long to figure out that uh, there is a mutant slash zombie outbreak. This is a survival horror game. Yes. Full of jump scares. Yes. This franchise actually started the whole jump scare. It revolutionized games because you are exploring the police station and all of a sudden something comes crashing through the window. Oh. You had no idea it was coming. Oh. Oh. Trust me, you will jump out of your seat. And the cool thing, Ted, is there are portions of this game where something is chasing you. I don't want to give it away. Yeah. But you hear the footsteps and they get louder and, and closer. closer. Oh. And your heart is racing because you have things to do and yet you are being relentlessly pursued the entire time. Oh my gosh. Man, this gets the adrenaline going. Anyway, I right. uh, highly recommend Resident Evil 2 Remake. Mike's must play yeah. Resident Evil 2. Okay. Second game. This is a really fascinating game. It's called Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes. So this is a long-running franchise, and this game has been in the works for years, and this is a fan favorite. Is it out of Disney? Is that well, who's doing this? it's a collaboration between oh. Square Enix and Disney. So it has Square Enix characters, uh, such as Final Fantasy characters, mixed with Disney characters. Ah. I'm not going to get into the storyline here because it is so complex and so convoluted that even if you go online for uh, plot summaries, people can't explain it <laughs> because it is so oh, Mickey. vast. Yeah. Mickey, Donald. And the cool thing is you never know what characters you're going to run into okay. or what Disney worlds you're going to go into. Oh, there's Frozen right yeah, there. Okay. Uh, Frozen's in there. I'll, I'll give a few away. Um, a Big Hero 6. Sure. Big Max is in there. Yes. Um, so that makes this game really Oh, fun. Pirates of the Caribbean. There and we whimsical. go. whimsical. Yeah. The story is long. Uh, lots of replay value because there's, there's secrets to find. You can go back and play. Just, you know what? Storyline, don't even worry about not figuring it out. <laughs> there's videos that you can actually play. The stories thus far, that doesn't even make sense. Oh, okay. But so enjoy just play it. And just have enjoy fun. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this last story, we were just playing this. Mario. Mario. Yeah. So this game actually came out a couple of years ago. Uh, it's new Super Mario U Deluxe. So Super Mario U came out on the Wii U console in 2012. Oh. The Wii U didn't really take off. No, it didn't. Right? So Nintendo decided to re release this on the Switch, which has a much huger fan base, right? And a user base. What a blast. Up to four people can play at the same time. Yes. Uh, tons tons of levels. So many characters. Yeah, and that's the neat thing. There's two new playable characters. There is Peachette. Yes. And there's also Nabbit. These two characters make this really easy for the younger kids to play because oh. Nabbit can't be injured by enemies. Okay. You can walk right through them. And Peachette... When, it's power, when Toadhead is powered up to Peachette, you can't fall into pits. Oh, okay. And when four players are that playing together, the, kids, the yeah. characters bounce off each other and it's complete mayhem. <laughs> Fun. But, man, you go through lives like water. Yeah, so yeah. So this is really cool that Nintendo actually released this with characters it's that smart. make it easier for the younger kids to get You get, get different involved. ages to play, right? I played with Ava for... Mm, do I admit, three hours yesterday? <laughs> uh, and she had a blast because she you, could actually get through the levels. You were doing research. It was research. Of course you were. So, uh, yeah, that's for the Switch. Uh, another <laughs> highly recommended game. All right, very good. There you go, Andy.